Creality Ender 5 Pro. Today we're just criticizing the Creality Ender 5 Pro because the only thing that seems to be different than the Ender 5 is the motherboard with the upgraded Trinamic 20208 steppers. I think this motherboard was also featured in the Creality CR10 version 2 and if not it was definitely featured in the non-launched Creality CR10 S Pro version 2 which is supposed to come out soon or maybe on Christmas or somewhere around these holidays. So it's either you buy the board upgrade to make your Ender 5 quieter or you buy the Ender 5 Pro. But there isn't any improvement that I may be curious to check because after the 2.3 Sapphire S, which does not have the side-to-side -side rails to eliminate almost completely the vibrations in the bed, it's pointless to even want an Ender 5 Pro or an Ender 5. So if you want a pile of metal that prints well for a few months, then yeah, get the Ender 5 Pro or the Ender 5. I would not settle for anything less than a dual vertical rail side to side for a vertical bed mover. It is better to get the Creality Ender 5 Plus and it's worth the investment because the bed is a lot less prone to vibrations and it's much larger. So this Pro version does not bring anything worthy in the filament path. It still brings the tired hot end from whenever ago and their 3D printer and they bring a single geared extruder but check this out they made the extruder frame out of metal. Well there's nothing Pro about that. The plastic extruder with the spring change may still work just fine. So big whoop. I think at this time they lacked an imagination where they were just trying to ride the momentum they have built. And if they truly wanted to make this 3D printer a pro, they should have used the dual geared extruder, the CR10 version 2 carriage and hot end with the option to move the dual geared extruder on the hot end carriage to make it in a direct extruder with a pancake stepper. I was quite surprised at the release of the CR10 version 2 with improved filament path but they chose to use the same tired components in the release of Creality Ender 5 Plus just a few weeks prior and I bet the design for the CR10 version 2 was being worked on at the time they released the Ender 5 Plus. And now they just came up with the Pro version of the Ender 5 with an improved motherboard and this metal frame extruder but the same old tired hot end. Shame on you. By the way, I tried my CR10 S5 with the pancake stepper and I thought it's going to catch on fire. So if you want to do this type of upgrade, you better lower your V-Ref. So I still yet haven't seen the release of the CR10 S Pro version 2 and yet that video is doing quite well. We may see this release soon around the holidays. Moreover, here is a suggestion for Creality. Why don't you release the Creality Ender 5 Plus? Pro with all the suggested upgrades in my videos. But until then, I bid thee mon amis farewell and adieu. On this channel, I speak mostly about 3D printers and their particular specifications, features, or lack thereof. Sometimes I may throw a wrench in the system with a review about my computer setup and or car fixing video. If you think you can stomach this type of format, throw me a like or a subscribe. Thank you.